Now, youth unemployment is an issue that concerns us nationally, but specifically in this constituency. What are your plans for the youth? Thank you very much. Should you be voted um, into power? Navrongo Central is a constituency where there are very educated young people, but under the NDC government, almost every young, if you count up, if you take 10 young people, and you count about every six of them, they are unemployed. And they have all completed school in the, in the last eight years. What I intend to do is to make sure that our young people under the 24 hour economy will get jobs. Because I have always said that I have lived now for 20 years, I lived and worked under a 24 hour economy. And I understand what a 24 hour economy can bring to young people. And so under the 24 hour economy, whatever that exists, opportunities there are, I will bring to the people of Navrungo. Apart from that, there will be skills training under our skills program, the NDC policy. We will make sure that we train young people and equip them with the, the equipment that they need. With the you resources train them they in need. what? What are you equip training them, them with the tools that they need to go out and work. If they are learning handiwork, like say carpenters, if they were plumbers, if they were masons, we will make sure that we buy equipment for them, the tools that they need to go out so there the and work. So the skills training that you will introduce, I will give to them and I will give them, you will give them the equipment they to need go to go out work and work. Well. That's correct. For all the unemployed youth but Not all of them. Like I said, under the 24-hour economy, there will be explosion of jobs. And those jobs, the young people who are here who are unemployed under the MPP will get jobs. And then personally, as a member of parliament, I'll train young people and then make sure that I give them whatever they need to go out and work. Apart from that, there are young people who are here who are farmers. It's a farming uh, uh, constituency. Most of the people go into farming. And when I was campaigning to become a parliamentary candidate, I said that I'll provide a center where there'll be a depository for fertilizer, and that still stands. If I become a member of parliament for Navrungo Central, I'll make sure that fertilizer, which has become a, a nice thing, where they are secretly distributed to party members, will be distributed in an open and fair manner. Anybody who needs fertilizer for their farm, it will be given to them. You will not be carrying fertilizer to people at night. We will uh, make sure providing that fertilizer at night? The MPP are currently are giving fertilizer to the party people at, and it's distributed at night. Did you see them distributing yes, fertilizer? Yes, I have the night? evidence. And even their own people, they bring complaints to us. There were recently about a thousand cement bags, uh, fertilizer bags that came. The, 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 the MC is here. Their candidate is here. They are, they are going around sharing fertilizer at night. I am assuring the people of Navrongo that when I get the chance to become a member of parliament, it will be distributed fairly. Every member of every person from Navrongo Central. All right. Can you talk about the other economic opportunities here in right. Navrongo? So, so, aside farming, what are the other viable economic opportunities for young people to be able to take advantage of? Yes. So, our constituency is mainly a farming constituency. Okay. Education, Navrongo Central is an educational hub. And so, we, we, we train a lot of young people. Who, go, who come from a constituency. What I think to do is that, I will, uh, as, a, as a member of parliament, I will lobby for uh, companies that will come here. In fact, under the agri project of the NDC, we will be able to open agricultural businesses. And that will be em bring employment to the young people who are here. Those are the things that I will do. Apart from, uh, apart from training them and equipping them with skills, under the agri uh, uh, program and policy of the NDC, we make sure that they get uh, employment in the agri uh, sector. And then also in the public sector, we make sure that under the 24 hour economy, the security services will provide them jobs. Those will be some of the things that I will do for them. Okay. Um